Now people may ask why I do what I do and really it's about my personal story. I really loved children and it just made a lot of sense when she decided to go in the field of children education. It, it, I mean they were drawn to her and she was drawn to them. When we had our first child, Michaela, uh, it just changed everything about our goals and our dreams and it just really opened up a new world. And the sky was the limit. We were both full-time students. I was attending University of Maryland College Park and Zubri was going to Salisbury State University. Uh, she was also raising our daughter and pregnant with our son. And it was just amazing how she was able to handle all this responsibility and was enjoying life, enjoying the moment. She was in her final semester and was doing very well and we were planning our life together. I was working late one evening and I received a call. It was from my mother as she was trying to keep her composure. She called to tell me that I was gonna be receiving a call from a hospital and she just left it very open-ended. So when I did receive the call, it was a doctor and I remember thinking, wow, he's, sound very young, but more importantly, he sounded very apologetic, like very sad. He told me that there was a terrible accident and uh, there was... A driver uh, had lost control of her car in the parking lot of a local grocery store in Salisbury. Zabri and Michaela were uh, headed to their car where um, they were struck by this individual. The car actually went through several parked cars before striking and killing my wife. Bystanders recall seeing what looked like a doll being tossed in the air. I remember thinking that that same morning, how beautiful she looked as she was driving off to head over to the school and my daughter was sitting in the car seat waving me goodbye, blowing me kisses, not realizing that that would be the last moment I would ever see her alive. When I arrived at the hospital, the nurses took me up to the room and all I could see was just... <clears throat> you know, my daughter in the bed with tubes coming out from every aspect of her body and when she saw me, she didn't even have the strength to lift up her hands to reach out to me. At the age of 24, I lost my son, became a widow, and a single parent, all in one night. You know, even though we grew up in an environment where tomorrow was never promised and we were raised to really appreciate each other day by day, it is still so eye-opening when a tragedy hits you. After I lost Sabri, life became very challenging, especially financially. When you're that young, it seems like you have all the time in the world to prepare for your future. I've seen firsthand where not having proper protection on your most precious asset, your family, can really have a significant impact. Seeing what my brother went through was very eye-opening. Shortly after, my husband and I made an appointment with a financial professional to make sure that we had the coverage that we needed. So if anything was to happen to either one of us, that it, the one thing that we don't have to deal with is the financial burden and that we would be able to grieve the way that we need to. For Marcel and myself, LBG is not just about bring in strategies and bring in uh, products to the table. But it's about really showing people that if you're not putting plans in place, you can really do more harm to your family than you realize. And I'm coming to you firsthand that if I had a, a proper life insurance policy, then my daughter and I wouldn't have seen the struggles that we had to endure. 
And so it's really about protecting the family.